Everyone talks about federalism, but even beyond partisan manipulation, that goes to the question of whether federalism is as structured as it is in the Constitution to really essentially protect liberty, or whether federalism, on the other hand, is really in the service of an even more activist government. Well, federalism is about the division of the power between the states and the federal governments. Our Constitution creates a system of federalism primarily by making the federal government one of limited powers. That, of course, has a limitation on the federal government, but the interesting fact which I explored in my answer was it essentially limits the states because the state citizens can exit from one state to another in a federal system. So it is an ingenious system in which two levels of government can create more liberty than a single level of government. That's the genius of it. The question of federalism sometimes is, well, what are the provisions in the Constitution dividing the states and powers? What are they for? I resist that question a little bit because ultimately, the obligation of uh, Americans and judges is to follow the provisions in the Constitution without actually just deciding at a very general level what federalism is for. I do think one can suggest that some of the natural effects of these provisions and the natural effects are to decentralize government uh, and therefore to protect liberty because people can much more easily exit from the state governments than they can exit and leave the United States. And that actually is a very powerful liberty protecting device.